Science Central. Not many people have a model of their own skull showing a large section missing. Oh, it's scary when you look at it. Oof. But not many people survive gunshots to the head and face like John Turco suffered in a dispute in 2005. Turco's neurosurgeon, Roger Hartle, says a major factor in Turco's survival was likely how soon he got adequate nutrition through a stomach feeding tube while in a coma. We have always tried to you know, provide nutrition to these patients, but what we have not known in the past was that it is very, very important to do this early on within the first day or two days after trauma. Hartle says that while doctors do order feeding tubes for brain trauma patients, they're often more focused on other urgent issues like surgery and brain swelling, and patients can have trouble tolerating the feedings. Current guidelines require 100 percent of calorie requirements within a week, but Hartle's latest study overturns that. He wrote in the Journal of Neurosurgery that immediate feeding is one simple way to greatly decrease the risk of death. He also found there's no upper limit for the amount of calories, but less than needed has a dire effect. For example, a man turco size needs eight of these cans, or 2,000 calories per day. If we take three of these cans away per day, and patients only receive this amount of nutrition, we know from this study that their mortality increases by 35 percent. Turco credits Hartle's care and the love of his family to helping him do much more than survive. I just love life. I love life. Even with all the tragedy that I've gone through. For Science Central News, I'm Sunita Reed.